Hey everybody, I hope your day is going well. I couldn't help but notice something today, or actually last night, so I decided this morning to get up and do a video on it. Let's talk about it. So recently I came across this picture, and I think this picture is certainly very telling on many different levels. So number one, who do we see? We see the actor, a.k.a. the president, riding the white horse, and he's slaying the dragon. So we see their flag. We see his trident. Now, just off the top with that trident, what was that a representation of? Well, in part, if you remember Greek mythology, what about the sea god Poseidon? Yes. Now, what is he slaying? The Leviathan. Who was the Leviathan? Well, the devil, the masses, the waters, the seas, the oceans. It all goes together. Now, what is he riding? A white horse. What does that represent? The apocalypse, the horsemen in the apocalypse. <sighs> so, with that... What did the white horse represent? Well, the Antichrist. He comes in on a white horse. Um, some say that the white horse is supposed to be Jesus, but it's not. Now, in Revelation 6, it reveals that the crown worn by the, the rider on the white horse is called a Stephanos, which is a crown worn by the military conqueror. You see that around him with the halo you see him in his military garb. And um, it's kind of self-evident there on what's going on. Um, the white rider is not Jesus, but the great deceiver, the actor, the imposter. So let's take a look at Poseidon. Who was he? Well, he was the god of the underworld. Yes, the god of Hades. He was known for his temper as well. Yes, the name goes back very far. Now, one of the things that Poseidon used to mean was husband of the earth or lord of the waters. But if you were to ask Plato what Poseidon means, he would say, knower of many things. If we take that trident and we go back a little bit in history, we know that the trident served basically as the military power of the tribes that later became the Ukrainian people. And the trident was actually stamped on gold and silver coins. I now something popped up um, from Prince Vladimir the Great. And that was back in uh, 980 to 1015. The trident was also used as a religious symbol um, and church heraldry. And it also appeared on other things other than the coin. It actually also appeared on the bricks of the churches in Kiev. It was also used as a decorative element for um, ceramics, weapons, medallions, seals, rings, manuscripts. It, it has a lot of um, things and it's evolved over time. So this was uh, also another image of their trident. I definitely think that the signs of the times are apparent. You know, if people don't see this by now, I don't know what to tell you other than wake up. Another thing, not related, but it is to me in a few ways. Kim Kardashian, where is she from? Turkey. Hmm. Where is this actor called the president coming from? Turkey. Hmm. Apocalypse, horsemen of the apocalypse. And I used to be the moderator for Killer Priest, and he's one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, death. Okay, now 
Also, when you think of、um, Turkey, what about Cappadocia? Cappadocia. Reminds me of the Wu Tang again, but I don't know. A lot, I correlate a lot of things with the Wu Tang because that's. I love the Tang. Not the fake Tang, not like space Tang, like the drink Tang. And, and、uh, not that type, but. But w o is for the children. Fuck. I got off track. And if you were to ask my personal opinion, which doesn't really mean much, it's just my opinion and my perspective, I've said for quite some time, Tokyo Tony said it too, which shocked me. Where's the Antichrist going to come from? Turkey. Mm hmm. I believe that too. I believe that too. So, while we're watching this Earth stage setup and we're watching these actor presidents, and I say actor presidents because, well, he used to be an actor, remember, before he was president? We seem to have that as a, a habit of actor presidents. Theater, stage theater. Anyways, pray for Kanye. Pray for Kim. Pray for Turkey. Pray for us. Just pray. Love you guys.